have to walk with this on my face I'm going on to a headwind so it's keeping me a lot cooler but it'll just dry your throat out right away so I have to stay breathing through my nose this creates a little bit of a moisture barrier heats up my face a little bit but that's okay so got geez at least a mile and a half I think down I think about six more miles to the first water I feel like I can make it so can't talk too much because it'll dry me out just hit the highway hard pavement off of bad water headed to the 190 junction that's the moon you see not really using the headlamp to uh, navigate. I could see pretty good without it. Got the night vision going. First little goal hit. Feeling pretty, pretty happy. Here comes the support team behind me. Did you clean that? Yeah. So it's been an eight point what you say, eight miles? Yeah, 8.8. 8.8 miles, and we're at Mesquite Springs, which is the first water hole. This water looks good enough to just drink straight from the stream, and I'd really love to. The pump isn't quite submerged, or it would be uh, pumping faster than this. I can't really wait for the pump. I need to get some water in me. I'm feeling surprisingly good after that far without water. Throat was getting really dry. It's starting to heat up a little bit, but uh, only my back where it was on the pack was uh, real sweaty. <sighs> Feet are starting to hurt a little bit. Try and get a little deeper spot in the, in the water here. So uh, it's about actually only about three miles to the next spring, but uh, after that it's about 20 miles. So I think I'm gonna rest here. It's about 10:37, so it took three hours to get about nine miles. That's with some pretty good hills. Uh, the rest is more flat than this. Three miles to the next spot. 20 miles after that. 10:30. You know I could probably get there before it heats up too bad in the daylight tomorrow. So I'll most likely go for it. Uh, there's some baby cattails right over here. If you can uh, okay. you see them right there, that green shoot coming up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig those up for food here after I pump water before I hike on. Get some good starch in me. So yeah, there we go. That's way better. Look how fast this pumps. This is why I love this. Uh, this first need water purifier after hiking nine miles it would be uh, <laughs> be real hard to sit and watch this boil okay I can't really wait to fill it up I need to slam some of this now water's actually kind of cool too, which is nice. So, this is cattail, latifolia, something or other is. <laughs> but, uh, this has a very, very starchy root that'll make good food out of here in the desert. It's young like this. 
It doesn't throw off as big of a taproot as I'd like. <clears throat> See this long taproot? This is all complex carbohydrates uh, in the forms of starches mostly. And these white roots, these are just like little spaghettis. So this is, uh, most people don't get this long taproot. This snaps off real easy. But the bigger specimens have even longer taproots. And this is really good and really juicy. I can see that, juicy and succulent and tasty. So this is a great survival food because it's a complex carbohydrate. So I'm gonna dig up several of these. And uh, this is gonna help power us along on the journey. And uh, yeah, this is a really great find. So even out here in the desert, there's, uh, there's what you need to get by. So we, will, we are still here at Mesquite Springs. Uh, we'll be waiting about another hour for me to rest and we'll head on to the next, uh, next area. This is a really good spot.